What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix's new reality series, My Unorthodox Life. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Oh man, I kid you not, I was half expecting that I was gonna trash this show the same way that I did other reality shows about self-centered wealthy pricks who don't know what to do with their money, like the DeMarcus Family Rules and Bling Empire, for example. And I thought that I was gonna do the same with this one, but I couldn't. I just couldn't, because turns out, my unorthodox life is actually not that bad. It does a pretty good job of highlighting Julia Hart's family's redeeming qualities, many of which I have to admit are quite admirable. Sure, they still do what rich people do, spending and wasting money on self-serving shit while millions of Americans are struggling to pay next month's rent. But within it, there's this story of resilience, a story of an independent woman who's hell-bent on crusading for the liberal life she's chosen versus the conservative uptight life she left behind. And that just resonates with the lefty in me. I can't resist it. Anytime there are moments when they're clearly in their own bubble, something comes up in their conversations that just brings it all back again to the fact that Julia is a pretty impressive accomplished woman. The epitome of pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. This is probably one of the few times that I actually like a Netflix reality show about rich people. Produced by Jeff Jenkins Productions in association with 3BMG and show run by Leonard Roloff, this series centers around the personal and professional life of fashion mogul Julia Hart, former member of an ultra-Orthodox Jewish community turned CEO of Elite World Group. Since taking the reins of a global talent empire, Julia has been on a mission to revolutionize the industry from the inside out, all the while being a mother of four. Her children include a TikToker, an app designer, a lawyer, and a high schooler torn between two conflicting cultures, and Julia helps them reconcile their orthodox upbringings with their modern world. My Unorthodox Life takes you on a journey through Julia's untamed, unpredictable, and unorthodox life. It's fascinating to see how Julia's four kids, each and every one of them, are in different stages of either adapting to life post-orthodoxy or still deeply entrenched in the belief. Some of them are like having one foot in the door and the other foot out, if you will. They're basically in varying degrees in relation to their faith. Whereas Julia is the only one who's clear cut about completely abandoning her faith altogether, no doubt, no question about it. So that's pretty much at the heart of my unorthodox life. You will see all kinds of situations on each episode. Julia's risque memoir, her grown married kids trying to get pregnant, her LGBTQ daughter, etc, etc. But what all of those issues have in common is them threading the needle between what they are today and what they were back then. And it's not easy to unwind or to undo all of that religious stuff that's been in your head for years. Maybe it's just me, but it bothers me when I see shows like this that promotes lifestyles at the Hamptons or at penthouses. Julia even travels on a helicopter to her residence. It bothers me because we all know that way below that ivory tower are us peasants scraping to get by. But as I implied earlier, Julia is not a trust fund baby. She doesn't get her success from inheritance or nepotism. She's a go-getter who genuinely empowers all of the women around her, including the supermodels she works with. So to say that Julia Hart is a complicated person, she's not a hero, she's not a villain, is the understatement of the year. 
I kind of grow to like this show with each passing episode. My unorthodox life has plenty of exuberance. Julia is charismatic. Her assistant is hilarious. Her husband is romantic. By all accounts, she's living the life that everybody would love to have in an ideal world. Of all the reality shows on Netflix that unfortunately highlight the income inequality gap, this is probably the most decent one out there from which you can take some positive insights.